Welcome back, everybody, to Serene Queen TV. I'm your host, T. Today, I'm going to talk about the Red Ruby to Sleeves music video by Nicki Minaj. This is my reaction. Please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments, because I know y'all are going to have things to say. Okay, disclaimer, I'm a Barb. Proud Barb, love Nikki. Um, I just am not afraid to like say what's on my mind and say what I'm thinking. So just um, respect my opinion and like understand where I'm coming from. Cause when I'm, I'm not doing this for clickbait, this is not for clout. Like this is genuinely how I'm feeling, okay? So yesterday, I saw Nikki on Twitter talking about, you know, doing like some kind of surprise for the barbs if she got 25,000 likes. And she didn't expect for the likes to be so high so soon. So she did not have a video prepared. So she, you know, went in iMovie, it looks like, and threw together a bunch of different clips of her at her house and her hanging out with Brooke Bailey. Like it is giving, it's giving amateur eye movie. Like, okay. Okay. It was not good. Now let me, before I dive in, because I know a lot of barbs are like already in my comments, ready to eat me up, like whatever, whatever. Let me go over what was good. Okay. The song, of course, I love the song Red Ruby the Sleeves. Y'all know I praised it in my last video critiquing Nicki. I really like that song. It's a hot fucking song. Like the bars are crazy. And I felt like it did need and deserve like a real video with a great budget because, you know, Red Ruby the Sleeves reminds me of Chun Li. Like to me, it is Nicki's. Like, it's her Chun Li. Like, she dropped Chun Li and Barbie Tings right before dropping Queen. And so, when Red Ruby the Sleeves came out, I'm like, good. Like, this this is her by herself. This sounds like, um, this sounds like she's about to, you know, drop her album any day now. Like, this is definitely an, an album song. Like, I'm feeling this. I'm liking this. This is, this is good. The bars are there. Like, yada, yada, yada. The promo, the uh, the cover, everything seemed good, but um, but she didn't deliver on the video. I thought she was going to. I thought the video deserved, you know, her definitely just having like a a video game thing. She definitely should have been. I want her to do something like big budget in video game style. Or, you know, she was in a Chinese restaurant the first time, um, you know, we saw her with, like, some of the first visuals and with the album cover. So, it would have been nice if she was at, like, a real high-end Chinese restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, I don't know, in the kitchen doing her thing. Like, really cooking it up on these hoes. Because that's the, that's, the, that's the cover. That's the single cover is her in the kitchen of a Chinese place. So, I just thought it was going to, like, really kind of go along with, like, the Chun-Li you know, Asian theme, but it was just her and Brooke Bailey hanging out. Now, of course, they looked amazing. The outfits were super expensive. Like everybody, the barbs are trying to deflect and be like, oh, well, her outfits, they outfits, you know, did you see what they were dressed in? And Nikki's house is so fly. And, and it's just like, y'all, you're trying to deflect. Like her and Brooke Bailey looked amazing. They were in extremely expensive clothes. They served looks like they looked amazing, but the video was bad. And I was very disappointed in Nikki. I was like, this is what you put out. And it's just like, again, people be saying that you be on drugs and you look like you really are the way that you just like promised the barge a surprise and then drop this lame ass video. Like... And you're talking about some, oh, I didn't really have anything ready to go. I got to shoot it. Like, shoot it? Like, you didn't have this shit ready to go? Like, all you had to really do, Nikki, you could have went on a Dunder Live by yourself. You could have, like, you could have did anything else like that. You, you could have did something that you really could have did. Like, 
you ran into your iMovie and put together a bunch of different shit like and hurry up and drop this and it's just like for what like that didn't even need to go down you didn't even need to do that like I just I don't know and I'm just like are you really planning on your album or what because you don't have you know no visuals no like you're not are you putting together anything and this goes along with like a deeper conversation with um you know, with whatever's going on with her label, like, it seems like her label isn't putting any budget behind her. And, like, she's going to have to pay for everything out of pocket. So, I don't know what's going on with her label, with her and Republic. They really need to get it together. Um, as far as, again, the actual video, y'all are not going to continue to sit here and talk shit about Nicki Minaj with Photoshop. I will not hear of the Photoshop conversation. No Nikki, no, no Nikki beauty or body slander will be tolerated. I cannot believe there are people who have really tried to comfort Nicki Minaj, talk about, oh, she got big arms. That's how stupid and trivial and petty is that. At that point, you're just splitting hairs, trying to find something on this person. Like, Nicki Minaj is gorgeous, beautiful, great body, and the bitch can't rap. So stop sitting up here, like, trying to find stuff. And she looked great in the video, and I'm not entertaining any conversation about photoshop when y'all sit up here and allow and excuse cardi b to have taken this woman's whole fucking face or trying to with her leather face ass like y'all really sitting up here letting cardi b make it so shut the fuck up and who else look like shit uh fucking scratch off how the fuck your name lottery ticket and you look like bad luck like get the fuck out of here Bitch, it's giving, yeah, you always get the losing ticket. Like, no. I'm not fucking with these other girls. They don't look like Nikki. They damn sure don't look like Brooke Bailey. You know, they look great, but, and their bodies look great, but that does not excuse expensive clothes and Chanel and looking good does not excuse bad lighting, bad editing, and a whack-ass video. It just seems like, it's like, Nikki, you was hanging out with your homegirl and you decided to make a music video out of it. Like, the video was so lame. Brooke Bailey don't look like she was ready for no goddamn music video. Like, she look, it's like, like when you go over to your homegirl house and she surprised you, hey, girl, I actually need to, you know, do a video right quick because I didn't fuck around and promise the barb something. You want to record? Like, I don't know. Like, that was just some shit I was not ready for. I was like... You know, this has to stop. And this is what I've been saying. Like, when Nikki did that shit, when Nikki, when I saw, when I was on Instagram and I saw the, the visuals for Red Ruby the Sleeves video, I was like, why the fuck is Nikki doing this shit? Why are you giving the other fan bases something to come at us with? Because they're going to go in. They're going to fucking go in and talk about, oh, yo, yo, fave don't got no budget. You know what I'm saying? And it looked like you don't, Nikki. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck did you just do? And I'm just like, God damn it. Like, you always want to roll around your goddamn backyard. All you had to do was, like, you got a big enough house, like, to just hire a full production team and have a production studio, like, where you have, like, a room or, like, a place where you record. Y'all could put in some green screens or some background. Y'all could get some props. Like, you have enough space in your house. Like, if you don't want to leave your house, Onika, you don't have to. Beyonce be having, like, motherfuckers come to her big-ass house and do professional photo shoots. Like, a lot of the time, when Beyonce be, you know, t doing these photo shoots, she be at the house, yeah. She just got somebody there. Like, she, you know, to set up a professional photographer, good lighting. You know what I mean? Like, Beyonce, even when Beyonce did 7-Eleven, which was in a fucking hotel room or what, some type of penthouse, like, this shit was just orchestrated better she had choreography she had lighting that video it was an iphone video but it, it it had like studio motherfucking editing like that video is put together well nikki this is some shit you put together on your macbook and this is just a mess. And when the other people start going at the barbs, like, you've just given them the fucking energy to. Because what the hell have you done? Why can't you just get some professionals around you? Like, that's starting to not look good. And I've been saying this. And y'all can say whatever the fuck y'all want. Why can't Nicki Minaj just get, like, some people around her, like, some professional people around her to 
just like really to make her be taken more serious. Cause like right now it's not looking good. Like as she's gotten older, shit has gone a little bit downhill because I'm like, you know what? Why are you still toting this like rap aesthetic that you have? This super big butt, this crazy colorful hair. Like what happened to your era where you were like a little bit more natural and cleaned up? Like bring that back because you are regressing. Why the fuck, um, why the fuck was you in your backyard? Every time we see you, you in your house, you in the backyard, you can't seem to leave your goddamn house. You know what I mean? And it don't help that, yeah, you didn't go to the Met Gala. It doesn't help. It doesn't help that narrative. And Nicki Minaj leave her house. Like, I'm tired of people saying the woman don't leave. I know the girl leave her house, but I'm just saying, you know, you, again, if you don't want to leave your house, you shouldn't look like your ass is always at home. People should not be able to tell you at your fucking house. You need to hire some professional people who can really set up. Like you need, like a, you need to do what Beyonce did. You running around here with a goddamn label. You need a production studio to help you make movies, to help you be in charge of your own documentaries, to help you like really have more control over your career. Like I, I just, I'm just saying, you don't need. You don't need to be running around with no record label, Nikki. You need to get your own shit together. And you need to get, uh, you need a production studio. If you don't want to leave your house, your house should be like the set of a fucking Tyler Perry movie. You should have all type of shit, you know what I'm saying, set up so where, to where you making fucking mega productions from your basement. You know what I'm saying? And niggas can't even tell. Like, you just have like a set, you know what I'm saying, at your house. Because you got a hair salon and... You know, Tay always over there, and I hate to see Nikki go back to some of this heavy ass makeup. I'm just like, this woman is too beautiful for all this fucking makeup. You know, I come on, bro. I'm just like, look, Red Ruby the Sleeves just opened me up to what is like else is going on with Nikki career wise, like stuff that other people are not talking about. Um, it's low key embarrassing. I want better for Nikki, and. You know, this video was a complete flop and a fail, and she has got to make a big comeback because this is really egging the other the other fan bases on. And it's just disappointing because, again, it keeps up the narrative that you don't leave your house, that your budget is washed up, and that things are just not looking good with you in Republic. I don't know what you got going on with your label, but you really need to fix it, Nick. And get a new team and get some real people who can like, who really thinking big and next level, like, please. So let's talk in the comments. Bye.